guys, what's up? And welcome back to another video. The scent of the day, I still have my root candle, blackberry mango, in this cute little owl candle holder. And it smells so good. And I've been sipping on this C4 energy drink and it's the first time I've tried this and it tastes really good, actually. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to be here and hang out with me. And if you have not already, take a moment and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss anything interesting. And also, if you did not know, I do post every single day on Instagram and Reddit. So if you like new daily updated content, be sure to go follow me over on there. I have been waiting so long to do today's video and I'm really excited to do it. Right here I have an entire box of makeup that has been on my wish list forever. And I bit the bullet got some of it and today I'm gonna put it on my face and test it out and see if it was really worth being on my wish list. And who knows maybe you were interested in some of these products too so let's try some of these products out together and see how they are and let's get started. The first step that we're gonna go into is primer and if you checked out my fired or tired post this is the XX Revolution Cloud Burst Priming Serum and I actually posted about this on that post that I was inspired by this and this is what it looks like. So it's like a little serum and it has all these little teeny balls in it. I don't know, it just looks really cool. And like something that I was very interested in and I wanted to try it. Give this a shot and see how it feels. When I squirt it into my hand, it's coming out in different colors. So there's white balls and pink balls in here and as the balls pop, they release different colors into your hand. And it looks like it's going to be an illuminating primer. And it smells really good. It feels really good. It's giving my skin a bit of tap which is always good for a primer you know because you want your foundation to stick to it. So I've really I'm really enjoying that so far. It's got quite a light scent, but you can still smell it. It's nice. When I look closely into the mirror, there's no noticeable glitter chunks or anything. It's just a nice illuminating serum. Now for foundation, I have wanted to try the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation forever. And I got mine in the shade 250 Sand. So let's give this a shot. And today I am going to be applying it with my foundation brush. Here's what it looks like. I'm just gonna grab this brush. This is one of the Ruche LR322 Kabuki brushes. So I'm just gonna put this on the back of my hand. Like that much. And I'm going to dot this on my face. This has a fragrance to it. It's a pleasant fragrance, but it is fragrance. That's how I'm looking. Kind of funny. All right, so I'm going to just blend this in and see how it looks. Okay, here's the foundation. And let me tell you, it is all that I have hoped for. It's a beautiful medium coverage. It was very easy to blend. The shade match was pretty on point. And for concealer, I got the concealer to go with it. So this is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. And every time there's a foundation and a concealer set, I always like to try them together because you never know if they're like formulated to work together in the best way possible. So here's what the concealer looks like. And I got mine in the shade, Lord, this is tiny. I got mine in the shade 201 Light. You can tell that um, uh -oh, the foundation and the concealer match. So I'm just gonna take this concealer. Here's what the tip looks like. It's like an hourglass wand. And I'm just gonna apply three dots under my eyes. And from what I've seen about this concealer is that it's not supposed to crease, it's supposed to consistently refresh itself throughout the day so it doesn't crease on you. 
there's the concealer applied and just like the foundation it blended in perfectly um i'm not seeing too many creases under my eyes at all but it looks really nice the shade looks good so those are two really nice complexion products for powder i got this makeup obsession pure bake i really wanted the shade lace but they were sold out of lace so i just got transparent and hopefully this works just as well as the lace shade does one of the cons about this specific powder is that there's no sifter on it so it's literally just an open jar of powder so that could kind of be aggravating if um you know when you're trying to work with it but i just pour a little bit into the lid and i'm gonna grab my overpriced baddington beauty powder brush and just dip that into the lid and apply that onto my face now apparently this is a baking powder so you're supposed to be able to take your sponge and actually bake with it but um i'm not going to do that method today i'm just going to apply it as an all-over powder and from what i'm seeing so far it is absolutely translucent there's no white cast it's setting my complexion very nicely I really like this powder this was a good purchase on it is pretty annoying but I mean it's okay now for bronzer I got this makeup revolution and Patricia bright face palette and here's what it looks like inside and we're just gonna actually use the bronzer in here today but it does come with a highlight shade and a blush shade and I have watched Patricia Bright on YouTube for quite a long time now, so I didn't want to buy this kind of, you know, when you watch and support somebody on YouTube. You do like to, you know, get some of their merch and stuff, so that's why I did get this. And let's try out this bronzer. I'm taking my favorite bronzer brush, which is the La Roche LR304 Angle Brush. And this bronzer looks almost a little too deep for me, so I'm gonna go very lightly with it. I'm gonna blend it out after I apply, so we'll see how it looks. Here's the bronzer after it's blended out, and I don't know how I'm feeling about it. The color's a, a little warm for my liking. Um, it is pretty dark on me, but you know, you can blend it out, and if you apply it with a light hand and then take a, a bigger brush and blend it out, you can make it work, but I mean, I think it's the most warm bronzer that I have in my collection. I might keep it around just for that, but I'm not, I'm actually not in love with it, but I mean, it'll work for what we need it to work for. This blush I have wanted for years. This has been on my wish list for years. And I know Ofra is being canceled right now, but I don't deal with cancel culture or anything. So this is the Ofra blush in Bellini. And here's what it looks like. And I have wanted the specific shade forever. Yeah, if you wanna read up about the Ofra cancellation and all that stuff it's pretty much everywhere but um from when I heard they were taking steps to resolve the situation so I'm just not into cancel culture and I'm not dealing with that and they're fixing it so why permanently hate things it's just stupid okay so you know I like to apply a lot of blush so I did and there's what it looks like. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit. There's my blush, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And then the highlighter that I got is this Makeup Obsession Mega Honey. I've seen some people use these, and these are only $3. So I wanted to try one for myself and see how it works on my skin tone. I got the shade Oh, it is a shade. It's just a shade called Mega Honey. The different shades are called what they are. 
So this shade is kind of, it's a baked formula and it's kind of a golden champagne. I'm gonna take my highlighter brush. I put a lot of highlight on today. I've been really enjoying taking my highlight to my hairline. So I'll start right here and then bring it to my hairline all the way right there. And then another thing that I always do with my highlight is take my brush and put it directly over my eyebrow, just like this. If you overdo it with the highlight, you can always take your powder brush and buff it out a little bit. Highlight is blinging. I'm gonna turn a little bit so you can see it. That's a $3 highlight. That's that's pretty phenomenal. Now, after I'm done with all my face stuff, I like to go in with a setting spray or some kind of mist to set all the powders in place. The product that I wanted to try was this Makeup Revolution Calming Makeup Fixing Spray, and this is the Cannabis Sativa one. And this isn't a setting spray, this is just a fixing spray. So it's gonna set all your powders in place. Just, oh gosh, it's leaking everywhere. Oh, the cap is off. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mist my face with this. Okay, so the mist is very, very nice on this and it smells, it has kind of like a old leather smell. So if you like the smell of, you know, like, like leather, <laughs> then you would like this. It smells really good. So I go into my brows and the things I got for my brows are the new ColourPop brow products. And as soon as these came out, I wanted to try them. So I got the new brow pencil, which is the Precision Brow Pencil. And then I got the Feather Effect Styling Wax. So the shade I got in the brow pencil is called Dope Tote. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline my eyebrows with this pencil first. The thing with this pencil is I did watch a review on it. So you cannot twist it back down. So as much as you put it up, it has to stay up that much. So be careful with how much you put it up. Okay, there's my eyebrows outline. And I did want to say that this pencil is a lot softer than their original brow boss pencil so i do like this one a lot better it's a lot easier to use the color is very cool toned and i do appreciate that and there is a spoolie on the back so you can kind of run the product through and make sure that it's all dispersed evenly now the next thing for the brows is this ColourPop feather styling wax and this is more if you like the new soap brow trend which i love it and I did get this in the tinted one. And you also have the ability to get it in a clear one. But um, the tinted one doesn't give you a super tint or anything. So, you know, you're better off just getting the tinted one for a little bit of color. And I did get the tool to go with it. And here's what the tool looks like. It's a pre-bent spoolie kind of thing. So, so what you have to do with this is before anything, you have to spray something wet in here. And usually I use water, but I don't have any right now, so I'm just gonna use fixing spray. And put two sprays of that in there. And then get this wet. And then see how there's product on here now? And I'm just going to apply that to my brows. And feather them up. Okay, so I really like this. This tool makes it really easy to get both sides into the perfect shape that you want them. And my brows are staying in place and I just, I really like that. I think that's a good deal. Now next, we're gonna hop into eyes and I know you're gonna laugh at me, but I have wanted this Peeps collection since it came out. So I just absolutely love Peeps. I, I'm one of those people that I will get Peeps any time of the year, any holiday that they, want to make peeps I'm all there for it now I believe this was their Easter collection so here's what it looks like on the inside 
So today I was just going to do probably a light wash of color in the crease and probably one of the shimmers on my lid just to get a feeling for the matte and the shimmer formula. So I'm going to take a big fluffy domed crease brush and this is from Wet n Wild. This is the P20 and I'm going to jump into the pink. This is the pink one right here. It's kind of like a pink purple to match my shirt. And I'm just gonna apply that into my crease. This is actually my first time using the Hip Dot formula. And it's working really well so far. You guys know I love doing detailed ornate eye looks, but um, on full face of makeup days and when I'm just trying to test the palette, I just like to test the different formulas. So I don't do anything too crazy on these kind of days. Just something simple. Now I'm gonna take my favorite blending brush, which is the Firma 201, and blend that harsh line out. And for my lid, I'm feeling like putting both of these shimmers. I'm going to do the pink on the outside and the yellow on the inside lid. So let's start with the pink. And so far, these are picking up just fine on a synthetic brush. And this is my colored rain shadow brush. So I'm just going to apply this on the exterior mobile lid. Okay, and now I'm gonna jump into the yellow shimmer right here and put this on the interior lid. And here's how the eye looks looking. That yellow is showing up with some pigment. I like it. So before we get on into the lower lash line, I like to do eyeliner first. And the eyeliner I've been wanting to try so bad is from Makeup Obsession and you got a part of me because I didn't really think this looked through, so I did get a green eyeliner, and we're going to use it anyway. These eyeliners come highly recommended. Here's what it looks like. It's in the shade Extra, and it's just a typical sharpenable eyeliner pencil. And I'm going to line my waterline with this pencil. So this applied nicely. Uh, I'm sure you can see the green, but it did need two coats, so I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be opaque as soon as I applied it, but I mean, it still works and I do like it, so that's nice, I guess. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to take this mustard brown color called Cute, and I'm just going to smoke this onto the lower lash line. All right, so I did it pretty thick, so it's like a good shadow there. So there's the lower lash line. And now um, for mascara, I'm just going to use this Clinique High Impact Waterproof Mascara. I didn't have a mascara on my wish list because all the mascaras that I use, I use for mascara wear tests. So I didn't want to pull one just for um, a wish list because there's really none on my wish list. I find that even though the mascara is waterproof, that this one's easy to remove. Okay, and the last and final step is lips. And for the lips, I splurge a little on a Gucci lipstick. And I got mine in the shade Cimarron 108. And I have wanted to try this for a long time too. And look at the packaging of this, it's just beautiful. And it's a deeper brown shade, so let's get this on. Okay, there's the lipstick. It went on so nice. I love this lipstick. It smells good. It has like a really good taste to it. It's very smooth and it, it blends nicely. I do like the color. So this is a total score. Let's go over my favorites and least favorites of the video. I think I really liked everything, so this is really hard for me to pick. Um, I think I, I like the complexion products a lot. Like, these worked fantastic, and I'm excited to use these again. The powder, this P20 
pure baked powder was really good i don't like the packaging so much but it was you know it worked the gucci lipstick is fantastic like I hate to say it, but I want another one. Some of the stuff that I didn't like, the Patricia Bright bronzer is a little too deep and a little too warm for me, but it does come in other shades, so maybe I just picked the wrong one. I don't know. The Makeup Obsession eyeliner needed two coats as compared to what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be opaque as soon as I applied it. It just didn't live up to my expectations, I suppose. But really, that is it. So I really want you to tell me what is your number one thing on your wish list because I'm really interested to know. Let's talk about wish lists today. So yeah, I hope you like this final look and I hope it was interesting to find out what was on my wish list for years at this point. And that is all I have for you today. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, hit the thumbs down button. And until next time, bye.